So you have an idea for a brand new app. You install Laravel, you're ready to get started. What's the first thing you should do? And in this video, I want to show you what I do on every new Laravel app I start. And it's pretty simple, but it's really powerful. So let's jump over to my code editor where I have this project installed. I'm going to open up the app service provider, go down to the boot method. And all I'm going to do is call model should be strict. And that's it. And that is how I start every single Laravel project. And in case you're wondering what this does, let's open up the model and look at the should be strict, which does three things. Number one, it prevents lazy loading. Number two, it prevents silently discarding attributes. And number three, it prevents accessing missing attributes. So those are the three primary things it does. And to demonstrate what these three do, let's jump over to uh, Tinkerwell and I have a little basic setup here. So the first example is lazy loading. So I'm grabbing all the articles, looping the articles, and then I'm calling article user name. So right here, that is a lazy loaded relationship. So if I run this, you can see it works. And that's because I have should be strict set to false. All right. But if I come over here to the query tab, you can see this thing creates a lot of queries, way too many. So to fix this, if we was back in should be strict mode and we, re we run it, you can see now we get an exception. Um, attempted to la lazy load user on the model at models article, but lazy loading is disabled. So that is what we want. We want to catch those errors early. And of course the fix is to add a width to the eloquent relationship there or when we're pulling it out. And now we go back to our list of articles and we have no error and we have no, what they call N plus one problem with generating tons of queries. So now let's jump down to prevent silently discarding attributes. So if I uncomment this, you can see I'm trying to fill the remember token with bar. And remember token is not part of the fillable array on the model. And that's not something you should be updating. So if I run that, I get the exception. Add fillable property remember token to allow my assignment on that Mars users. So, and that's just, again, another way to help, you know, spot errors early. And then finally, let me grab this and bring it down to this final code block. All right, so we have prevent accessing missing attributes. So let me turn this to false to give you the first example. So if we run it, we say missing attributes test user and we're calling a non-existent property. Um, and you can see default Laravel just does nothing. There, nothing is printed, um, it just kind of silently pretends to kind of work. But with this set to true, now we get the exception. The attribute non-existent either does not exist or was not retrieved for your model. So, you know, just going over and installing or just turning on this model should be strict, uh, you know, helps really, you know, find errors early in the development cycle. And it's, it's really powerful. Um, if you do want to take this a step further, you know, when you start to deploy, I've seen a lot of people do this. They will actually throw in this app is production. And basically they're turning it on if it's not, as long as it's not in production. So once your app goes into production, then um, they turn off the strict mode. And that way it just kind of prevents kind of anything unexpected, I guess when you are in production. But for me, if it's turned on during your local development, it should stay turned on. So I hope this helps. You know, this is, like I said, the first thing I do on every app. Um, it's sort of like a, a way to, to prevent me making beginner mistakes and basic mistakes. So, you know, what do you do when you first build a Laravel app? Let me know in the comments. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.